Hello, I think we're recording. Okay, so I am on a Windows. So this one, I'm on just on boot camp. Uh, back on OBS. Uh, so today, there's one thing I've always loved doing. And that's doing tutorials. I don't know why I loved it. I just do. And today we're going to be doing the tutorial of how to download FNF mods. <laughs> I should be playing tricky, so I'm going to just destroy that right now. Uh, okay, so the first thing I want to do is just go into Google. Type in what, for example, let's say you wanted to download the hex mod. Hex mod FNF download. And immediately you have no internet, so... <laughs> Give me a second while I get this problem fixed. Okay, and we're back. Uh, we got the internet fixed. Just gotta click on versus hex mod, full week update, or whatever comes up, or any mod you do. And it'll come to Game Banana, which is like a holy site for downloading FNF mods. But the first thing you want to do is you want to scroll down. And you come to the downloads. You might miss it, but here they are. Now, the, sometimes the mods will have a lot more alternate file sources than this. But pretty much the one you always want to download is Versus Hex Full Week 1 or any other mod. Click that. It'll bring you to a new page. Which here you will find the download. Just click that and you'll be fine. However, to do this, you will need an extractor tool, and I recommend doing this before you do anything. I'll link all of these pages in the description, and if I don't, I forgot, but you already know how to get there. Search up WinRAR uh, and download it. It should tell you how to download it. It's a very, very good. Uh, extraction software. I forgot it has Mac OS. That's very nice. Um, yeah. Very nice extraction software. It's really good. Just go to winrar.com. The first one that comes. Do not go to this one. I don't think it works. Just go to this one. Download winrar. Now, every th every time you download something, it'll a dot .zip file, it'll look like that. Or other files, I think. That, are, you have, that have to be opened. It'll look like that. Uh, and then it's pretty simple. Once your thing is downloaded, all you really gotta do is right click on your PC here, go to new, and click folder. Now as for me, I already have a folder that's called FNF mods. You wanna call your thing FNF mods. Uh, I have three mods in here, Hex, Sarvente, and Tricky. If you're going to download a new mod that isn't one of these, you can download any one of them. You just make it, these won't already be here, obviously. You'll have to make them. Uh, you can just click new folder and download. Trick, well, and just call it tricky, call it Sorbente, call it hex, whichever one you want to call it. Whatever you're getting, just call it that. Then there should be something in WinRAR where you download it. It's going to be in the download section. That's where you're going to be able to find it. It should be like right here, versus hex full week one. So it looks like since I already extracted this, you actually can't like click it. Oh, you actually can't. So yeah, it'll have all this. I'm not gonna do this again, obviously, because I already downloaded this. All you wanna do is click extract to, and then click your double click your FNF mods, and then extract to the folder you made. That's all you really gotta do. And then boom, just go back to that folder. The compressed dot zip folder that you made. Double click it if you have to. Go back to FNF Mods, because for some reason I just opened three file explorers. Dang it, okay. Go back to FNF Mods and double click on that folder, for example, Tricky. And you just double click versus Tricky. It'll pretty much be the same for any mod you go to. Use hex. Okay, uh, actually, an interesting thing here. I don't have the hex application here, and that's because, that's because it's up here. So what you can do is the application will be in here, and you can drag it out and make it a shortcut up here, or you can just make a shortcut and put it here, which is just right click on it, and then make a shortcut, and right click on the application here, make a shortcut, and just put it up here, take it out and put it up here. 
and it'll now be on your desktop. You can do that if you want to. It's really not that hard to find this folder that you made because it'll just be right down here or anywhere else where you made it. It'll just be there for you to use. And that's pretty much all I had to say uh, on how to download FFMon. Probably going to be doing a tricky playthrough on the channel soon.